episode of Technical Tuesday. Here we're going to cover how to do a commercial duct leakage test. Uh, if you're familiar with residential commercials, a, a little bit different. Instead of testing the entire system at once, what we're doing is uh, testing the air handler cabinet alone, or maybe the air handler cabinet along with the trunk line. Uh, so we use uh, a duct tester fan. It looks like our residential one. It's built into the same shell, but this is a much more powerful fan. So uh, this is called the Model 400X. Unlike our residential duct testers, this commercial duct tester can test flows at really high pressures. The DM32 that comes with this system is actually called the DM3220. It looks identical to any other DM32 that we make that comes with our residential duct tester kit or our blower door systems. Uh, but this one has different sensors uh, inside of it. it has, uh, the sensors are designed to measure pressures up at a higher magnitude, uh, so up to 20 inches of water, where the regular DM32 uh, can handle up to 10 inches. So we don't really need to deal with uh, high resolution pressures. We're not dealing with Pascals like we do with lower door or residential duct tests. Here we're dealing with inches of water, so we need to be able to measure more pressure and not so much down at the lower end. So what we're going to do today is demonstrate how to run a test with the equipment. Uh, we're using this duct simulator case here. This is the case that one of these systems would come in, but we've modified it to behave like a duct system. So uh, we have our system connected with our flange here, uh, and then we have everything sealed off. So the flange that comes with this system is a heavy duty plastic, and it actually has a blue port built right in. So that's where you're going to measure pressure inside of the duct system. We'll have a blue tube that connects here, that comes back and connects to the blue port on the DM3220. Then we just match the colors uh, from the gauge to the fan. So yellow port on the gauge to the yellow port on the fan, uh, green port on the gauge to the green port on the fan using the green tube. One thing that we recommend here that's a little different than how we run other types of air tightness tests is uh, if it's a system you've never tested before, we recommend using the manual dial to slowly get up to that target pressure. So instead of just using the uh, automated feature to let the gauge take you there, uh, unplug the data cable from either the gauge or the fan, and use that manual dial uh, to creep up to that target pressure, just so you don't overpressurize the system uh, and blow something loose. Because again, this is a very high pressure fan. So a question that we get quite a bit is, What's my target pressure? How do I know what to, uh, what to pressurize the system to? That answer is usually within the mechanical plans. The uh, mechanical engineer or designer uh, should have that test pressure specified and it's usually falling somewhere between four inches of water and 10 inches of water, whatever it is that that engineer specifies. SMACNA also has its recommended pressures and airflow leakage allowances. Uh, the gauge can display CFM or CFM per 100 square feet of duct area. For the example today that we're going to use, we're just going to say six inches of water. Uh, that's one that we commonly see. So we'll go ahead and run the test. We have everything hooked up the way we're supposed to. Uh, here to connect our flange uh, to the system, we use this white tape that comes with the system. This is a, a heavy duty white vinyl tape that uh, has edges to make it easy to tear. So you can either screw the flange into the side of a cabinet or a trunk line, or you can use this tape uh, to secure it that way. So you kind of have a choice. Uh, sometimes you might want to use screws if it's a really high pressure test. Sometimes this tape will come loose, but uh, this tape is a lot stronger uh, than the duct mask or grill mask that you see from us for residential testing. So um, this comes in handy quite a bit for getting things sealed off. So again, we're going to pressurize the system to six inches of water. Uh, and again, I'm going to use the manual dial to do so. So I'll slowly get there. And again, this is a soft case, so you'll start seeing it's a balloon as it pressurizes. And then I'll slowly turn the dial. six inches of water, so it looks like I'm getting 130 CFM uh, at six inches here. 
And if you're familiar with our residential systems or our blower door kits, uh, it comes with a case of different size orifices that we can change out. So if we can't quite make it to our target pressure, then we'll choose a, a larger opening. Uh, if we can make it to our target pressure, but we're not getting a flow, then we'll reduce the size. So it comes with some different sizes that we can easily swap in and out right here at the inlet side. And it may also be worth mentioning that if you ever come across two plus signs on channel B of the gauge, what that means is there's too much pressure in the fan shell and that you need to go up a range. Uh, with this particular fan, sometimes that can happen. Sometimes you might get so much pressure uh, inside the fan shell that it goes above the range of what that uh, current range selected can handle. So if you ever see that happen, just uh, swap the range plug out for a larger hole size uh, on both the fan and the gauge. And if for any reason that we want to depressurize the system, uh, the 450X comes with this drum and then it simply just snaps on over the inlet side and then we would take our flex off of this and then put it on the intake here uh, to pull a negative test on the duct system. This is the only duct tester uh, like this. Any other commercial duct tester that you come across is basically gonna be a large blower and a motor strapped to a hand truck. So this is the only model that's out there that you can actually pack down in a case and one person can take up a flight of stairs or up a ladder. However, with it being so compact and portable, it still provides the exact same power as a lot of those other models that are out there. So just to give you something to compare it to when uh, comparing to other models out there, at eight inches of water, this fan can generate 295 CFM of blow. And the cool thing about this is too, if you're testing large air handler cabinets where maybe one fan isn't quite enough, you can daisy chain multiple fans together to get you up to the pressure that you need and still read that flow just as accurately as if it were one fan. You can actually tie it into our fantastic software and then generate reports uh, for SMACNA that will automatically populate. So that's the basic rundown of the RetroTech Model 400X duct tester. Um, this is our way of making commercial duct testing as easy as it can possibly be. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us and thanks again for watching. We'll catch you back here again next week.